Uh, hi viewers, uh, I'm Dr. Vijay along with Dr. Hemant. We are faculty from Doctor Tutorials for Medical Oncology. Here today with us is uh, Dr. Sai, uh, who has secured his uh, rank in uh, CML rank one in his INISS 2022. And uh, he's here to share his views, his um, journey uh, towards this uh, goal. So let's start interviewing him. Hi, Sai. Uh, Initially, please introduce yourself with your background, of UGPG, your um, uh, where are you from, and those stuff. Uh, good evening, everyone. Like uh, myself, Dr. Sai Kiran. Uh, I am from uh, Bangalore, Karnataka. I did my undergraduate from Bangalore Medical College and post graduation from uh, RML Hospital, New Delhi. I actually started my preparation from in oncology from after my NEET SS. Like as such, I didn't have. So when did you complete your PG? So I completed my PG in May 2020, like 2022. Sir. Oh, you just completed? Yes, sir. Yes. Just, uh, so, uh, so when did you actually start developing um, interest in Onco? Uh, sir, actually, in, uh, I was uh, yeah, juggling between nephro and Onco. I, nephro exposure was more in the medicine department. Then while reading through the Harrison, I, I was like, okay, Onco will suit me better. Uh, then I used to go through the general concepts of oncology from the like genetics part and the other thing. And I was like, yeah, oncology will be better for me. Uh, that is what I've decided in the uh, like end of the, my third year that I will be doing onco. Then after my MD exams, uh, I started preparing for NEET SS, which like which was uh, my rank was not that good in the NEET SS. Then I was like, I'll prepare proper thoroughly for INA SS. Then I started my INA preparation after the 15th September only, so after the results. Okay, so uh, for the viewers, uh, Sai has been uh, my student, uh, not from here, but from before only. Uh, I did my MD medicine from BMC and Sai was doing his MBBS. Apparently, I've taken some clinical cases, which probably was not good, but he doesn't tell that. Uh, but uh, he was a student there. I can't remember, but uh, we came to uh, know this uh, after that. So uh, good. So your uh, exposure in oncology as such is probably less. Yes, sir. Right. I didn't have any postings in oncology during right. my MD. Right. So that is some uh, difficulty that many of the medical colleges have that you might not have a posting in oncology and many students don't realize how the field of oncology is. So I, I probably, I feel it's extremely important that everyone has got oncology exposure because as a part of medicine also, say in case you are staying uh, back as a physician, uh, you will end up seeing many oncological cases and that is where we are lacking yet. So, uh, do you feel that probably the lack of uh, uh, working in oncology uh, made some difference for your interview or how, how it was? Uh, yes, sir. Like, uh, they specifically asked me whether I, like, did I manage any onco cases? Did I have, like, worked as an SR in any onco department in any hospital? Right. So, my answer as such in the interview was no. So, right. that might be the differentiating right. factor. Yeah. So uh, aims that happen that uh, they do uh, ask for your experience and probably uh, preference is given for the experience. But however, you scored very well uh, in your uh, initial part. So you ended up having a rank one uh, common merit list. That is fantastic. It is not an easy stuff. So don't even uh, think that probably you're not done well and you do not qualify for aims. Getting a CML rank one is uh, really brilliant. Uh, that is something that uh, should be appreciated. Now, so when you are preparing for your CML, uh, how and where did we come into place? Sir, actually one of my seniors were preparing for Medonko. He took up in DNB in Rajiv Gandhi Hospital in the Delhi. So he had, uh, like uh, suggested me to take up a uh, dog tutorial. Then I saw uh, you as a faculty in the this thing, sir, uh, dog tutorial. Then I was like, yeah, I, like, I know a little bit of the teaching uh, like a pattern of sir. Then I was like, I'll take up uh, dog tutorial. Then I uh, subscribed in the, the late part of my third year, uh, like in the January. Uh, at the time, I didn't have so much of uh, attention towards the videos sir, as I was going through my final exams. So I'd seen only like 10, 15 videos. Uh, later on, NEET SS happened. Then I saw only the QRP sessions in the NEET SS, which was not that uh, different for the Onco, because the Onco questions were not that uh, higher level in the NEET SS. Sir. Then again, I started my uh, INA preparation in the month of September, like after September 15th. From then I saw a whole, all the videos from the doctor, including the QRP videos. Okay. So what part do you think was uh, uh, good from us and uh, made 
the impact or what uh, probably think uh, is a thing that is done well uh, sir actually after seeing the videos like i've seen videos like uh, like one day initially after like in the second time i used to say at 1.5 1.2 uh then qrp videos were the most uh, like essential for me because that was where i was i, I could make out that these points are missing from my uh, notes or my preparation then i used to uh, revise the qrp uh, like every time when i used to go through so qrp was the best part of the yeah very important thing that you told is uh, revising i think that is where students lack so uh, our brain basically i feel sometimes we need uh, at least six times of certain thing to remember it for a good long time so you need to keep revising and with every revision the uh, things uh, probably will get uh, shorter the time needed will get shorter uh, simple thing that i used to do for my dm uh, when before my dm exit exam that i would probably just uh, google something that probably uh, i was reading go to the images store the images take a screenshot store the images and the night uh, at the end of the day i just go uh, swiping through the images initially i had almost around 460 500 odd images and it would probably take 2 3 days to kind of go through it 2 3 hours That's to go right. through it and uh, towards the last 2 uh, days of my exam i could just finish through that in 10 minutes and i had a clear cut idea because our pictorial memory is much strong we end up seeing images and remembering much well so that was something that we did and that is the same thing we try to do in qrp because you will end up seeing that our qrp content doesn't have a lot of words it is most of the time images and uh, uh, either flow charts or so because that is what you will end up key remembering points. so key points very key points just thrown as images there so that is how uh, i design i try to design my uh, work that way uh, fantastic so uh, vijay so uh, how was your interview session um, so we actually had a mock interview how did it actually go what yes, is sir. your um, flow of questions and the, what was your case uh, uh, they didn't give me any case sir. they asked me just like mine was the last uh, my uh, according to number mine was the last uh, they just asked me like few questions uh, regarding dlbcl uh, what an arbus changing uh, then what are the common cancers in india and the delhi and what are the different uh, di- different common cancers in delhi uh, these were the few questions sir as such uh, it was only for 5 or 7 minutes maximum yeah, i think uh, the time crunch uh, yeah, maybe probably had some impact fine fantastic so uh, going ahead uh, you got a uh, rank 1 cml and uh, uh, probably you're going to one of my uh, institutes of choice uh, jipma pondicherry fine uh, fantastic place to be in uh, good place very good oncology setup i have my mentors there uh, dr prashant and dr biswajit great place to work in great environment of pondicherry as well because you need to enjoy your time uh, uh, after work as such okay so uh, what do you want to tell the students how probably they should prepare uh, i would say like a first uh, to be uh... Caref- carefully read the harrison first part, part first because that contains the basic general oncology part including the drugs and the basic concepts like what are the genes involved what are the mutation type of mutations involved if if you get the basics part done uh, properly then you can like go through all the videos and add add on the few points which are missing from the harrison part and later on if time permits you can go through the q bank also sir q, like i have done few q banks that also was very helpful for me so later on they can add few more points from the cubans especially the radiation oncology part and the pediatric oncology part correct so uh, rare things are still asked it is not that they are excluded so radiation oncology pediatric oncology has got still an important uh, uh, view uh, as and when we told that high yield topics are there but these are smaller topics which probably uh, might need some effort but definitely will reward also okay yes, uh fantastic good to have you vijay you are closing words yeah uh, that's from uh, sai we have heard his uh, uh, fantastic interview and uh, he will be joining jipmer shortly congrats sai and that is uh, from dr hemant and dr vijay here